nose, forehead, back of the head. One line, that's it. I did a lot of portraits and pin drawings and sketches, but uh, these would take only about 15 seconds or 90 seconds. In those days, I didn't feel that I had the time to learn oil painting, which is a, an enormous subject. And it was only when I retired at age 65 that I really went at it. I dropped everything else. From morning to evening, I was reading, studying, practicing, and finally then I got, felt that I was able to do, do uh, oils. I've always been rather aggressive in painting. I remember reading about Sargent in which he would attack the easel and go at it. Him, I just found that I was doing that too. He had a way of using bravura strokes. He would hardly ever use a really small brush, but he had a way of holding a broad brush to a tip, twirling it, and somehow or another the kinetics of all that, I, I, I really enjoyed. A palette knife like this, there's no better way to get a continuous stroke and very heavy. A collar, a man's collar, is sometimes very flawlessly finished and this is the only way. Don't pause, if you pause then you've ruined the whole thing, you've got to do it again. My mother used to like to use sables but I took to like to use bristles and it's quite worn. So I use it mainly to, mainly to uh, blend. I have been asked in later years uh, how do you paint? What do you paint? And why do you paint? And all these philosophical questions that, that uh, people who don't paint ask people who do paint. And I say, I can't say. I just do it. I just do it because I'm driven to do it, I suppose I would have to answer. So well, yes, I, I've enjoyed retirement because finally I have got to do what I knew that I would be doing someday.